Hello children, this is our maths class. In the previous class, we have learned to do addition using number line. Do you know children? We can also do subtraction using the number line method. Children, before we start, remember that in number line method, if we move forward, that is to the right side, the number gets bigger or larger. And if we move backward, that is to the left side, the number gets smaller. Now let's learn how to do subtraction using number line. 5 minus 2 When we do number line subtraction, we should always start with the first number. Now tell me which is the first number? Yes, 5 is the first number, so the frog starts at number 5 and then moves two places towards the left side. The frog lands on 3. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 8 minus 4. The frog starts at number 8 and then moves four places to the left. The frog lands on number 4, so 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 3. The frog starts at number 6 and then moves 3 places to the left. The frog lands on number 3, so 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Now let's do a quick review. Ten minus two. Tell me, children, which one is the first number? Yes, ten is the first number, so the frog will start at ten. And which side will it move? Will it jump towards right side? No, it will jump two numbers to the left side. So the frog lands on number eight. Therefore. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 7 minus 5. Tell me children, which one is the first number? That's right, 7 is the first number. So the frog will start at 7. And which side will it move? It will jump 5 numbers towards the left side. 1, 2, 3... 4, 5. So the frog lands on which number? It lands on number 2. Therefore, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. I hope now everyone is clear with the number line subtraction. Children, in the next class, we will do word problems of subtraction. Alright? Thank you and have a nice day.